Good morning everyone, welcome to morning prayer this morning. It's been another week of announcements, hasn't it? On Monday, the strategy was announced about how we will leave this um, current full lockdown next week. And then yesterday we heard plans for relaxing the restrictions over five days around Christmas with three households being able to form a bubble together for those five days. However these things have made you feel, let's bring them before God in prayer today. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. We've begun the New Testament readings from the Bible course, giving us a full overview of the full Bible story. We heard yesterday how Mary came to realise that the child she would bear would be the fulfilment of all of God's promises to his people. Today we'll meet Jesus at the beginning of his ministry saying a similar thing. I'm going to read from the Gospel of Luke chapter 4 from verse 14. Then Jesus, filled with the power of the Spirit, returned to Galilee, and a report about him spread through all the surrounding country. He began to teach in their synagogues and was praised by everyone. When he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, he went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day, as was his custom. He stood up to read, and the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was given to him. He unrolled the scroll, and found the place where it is written, The Spirit is of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour. And he rolled up the scroll and gave it back to the attendant and sat down. The eyes of all in the synagogue were fixed on him. Then he began to say to them, Today this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. All spoke well of him, and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. They said, Is this not Joseph's son? He said to them, Doubtless you will quote to me this proverb, Doctor, cure yourself. And you will say, Do hear also in your hometown the things that we have heard you did in Capernaum. And he said, Truly I tell you, no prophet is accepted in the prophet's hometown. But the truth is, there were many widows in Israel the time, at the time of Elijah, when the heaven was shut up for three years and six months, and there was a severe famine over all the land. Yet Elijah was sent to none of them, except to a widow at Zarephath in Sidon. There were also many lepers in Israel in the time of the prophet Elisha, and none of them was cleansed except 
attacked Naaman the Syrian. When they heard this, all in the synagogue were filled with rage. They got up, drove him out of the town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town was built, so that they might hurl him over the cliff. But he passed through the midst of them, and went on his way. Amen. God's word to us today from the Gospel according to Luke. So we saw there Jesus proclaiming to be the fulfilment of those words from the prophet Isaiah, that he is the one who God has anointed to bring freedom to all who are oppressed. This was clearly initially greeted as good news by those who heard it in the synagogue, and Jesus is indeed a bringer of good news for all people. The less familiar part of this passage, however, comes later on when Jesus moves on to challenge his hearers, because Jesus' words often bring challenge as well as good news. Jesus challenges his hometown, noting that God had often been rejected in his own town by his hometown people, Israel, and so had moved on to find faithfulness from others of other nations. These can be striking words for us today, as faith in God seems to be declining in wealthy in our wealthy Western world, and yet growing in many parts of the two-thirds world, and grows in many places where people of faith are persecuted for their beliefs. So as we pray today, let's lift before God those persecuted for their faith, those rejected as Jesus was here, and pray that we will respond to God's love with faithfulness. Let's pray together. Lord God, we thank you for this new day. We thank you for the freedom that we have to meet in this way and to practice our faith. Lord God, we pray for those throughout the world who experience religious persecution. Lord God, we recognise that you were thrown out of your hometown for what you were saying, for what you were teaching. So we pray, Lord, that as we hear your words in the Bible, that we will respond with faithfulness to you. In your name we pray. Amen. join together in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. God bless you, whatever today holds for you. Please do join us if you'd like to for our quiz tonight on Zoom at half past seven. Just contact Rev Dave for the joining details. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.